Hello everyone, it's me JB from Unix Tutorials. Today, in this video, I will show you how to make Linux, Mac, Windows bootable USB pen drive using any Android smartphone. So, without any further more delay, let's begin. So, first of all, you need to open the Play Store. In the Play Store, you need to search for one application name as Edgedroid. Just search this application name. As you can see here, Edgedroid. Just tap on it. As I've already downloaded and installed it, so I'm not going to do it again. So you download and install it firstly. So after installing, just tap on open. So on opening the application for the first time, you will see this kind of gentleman's. So the first option you can see, write raw image or ISO files. So you can see here, this image created on Windows or Linux. And the below options for the Mac computers, that is the Apple computers, the DMG image files. So here I will show using the Linux ISO file. So before processing, what you need to do, you need to have a USB OTC cable, as you can see here, to type A. And you need to have a USB pen drive where you want to write your ISO files. So firstly, before proceeding, just insert the pen drive on your Android smartphone using the OTC cable. So let me insert it. So I've inserted now. So wait for a few seconds until my Android smartphone detects my USB pen drive. So you can see it's being detected. Now, what you need to do, just select the either of the options. If you're using a, if you're having a Windows or Linux image files, then you select the first options. Or if you want to write a Apple, that is the Mac DMG email file, then select the second options. So here right now, I'm going to use the first option as I have downloaded the Linux ISO, that is the email file. So I'll just tap on it. It will take you to my file manager. So I will just tap here. And just, I will try to access the internal storage. Now just, I will scroll down. Now I have an image file as you can see here. That is the Linux Ubuntu ISO or the image file. I'll just tap on it. You need to select the option as it's being dark. So you may not be able to see clearly. Can see here allow asteroid to access the storage media just step on okay now here you can see since the background is very dark so you may not be able to see but you can see here right now so on the bottom below you can see a uh, proceed so just tap on it and now you will be asked to say flash image now it will format your android usb pen drive so if you have some data on your usb pen drive just firstly do a backup and after that after format clicking on this plus image it will start processing now you can see in the above it may take a uh, half an hour or more also depending how speed that is the burning speed of your usb pen drive or having the otg supports so wait for some minutes until the processing gets complete then after that we'll test it on the computer whether the USB pen drive that we have just created that is the bootable USB pen drive which we have created is really bootable in the computer or not so wait until the processing gets complete so finally our processing has been completed as you can see here right finish you can see here right finish so now Let's try this pen drive, whether it's working as a bootable USB pen drive or not in our respective computer. Now on the boot up system, you need to select or click the F9. Once the, your Windows PC boots up, just press the press F9. Now select the USB storage. So in my case, it's the generic storage media. Just hit enter. Now you can see the bootable USB pen drive which I have created. So you can see here which I have created USB pen drive. So let's try to boot, boot it up 
let me hit enter So you can see finally the USB pen drive, that is the portable USB pen drive which we have created using our Android smartphones is really working and you can see it in this video itself. So using this application named as Adstroid that you can use in your Android smartphones by which you can make a portable Linux, Windows or Mac OS pen drive. So if you never known about this cool application, then try it out today. And a good thing is that it's totally free of course. So what are you waiting for? Download this very useful application today and try it out by yourself. So if you find this video tutorial useful, click on the thumbs like button. And if you're new to our channel, click on the subscribe button. And lastly, thanks for watching.